So the woman by the name of Rojean is claiming to be Travis Scott's side piece. She is forcing it on everybody, letting everyone know that it is indeed her and that Travis Scott is lying. After going online back and forth with Travis Scott for quite a bit, she decided to drop some receipts, which were some text messages of her asking a friend to verify the details that she claimed she was with Travis Scott on Valentine's Day. Now, Travis Scott has been denying this for years and he just denied it last night and you would think he was rapper ti the way he keep hitting her with shawty you don't know me so he is over her continuously pushing the narrative so he got very feisty and said if you wasn't at this table on valentine's day then you wasn't with me so this news scattered across social media like wildfire. So of course it hit the blogs in which it made its way to the blog The Shade Room. Someone who claims to know Travis Scott decided to vouch for him in which he screenshotted and reposted that on his Instagram story which stated, Big Cap, I've been working with Travis for eight years. I was on set all day as he was directing a video for another artist. The lady is delusional. She was not there with him. He does not F with her in any way. Nothing else to see here. Now, Rojean already made a video previously last night claiming that Travis Scott was lying. So after Travis Scott got online again, the next day, denying, denying, and denying, she decided to make another video and further share her sentiments about this situation. The stuff that happened a few years ago, I was not the quote unquote mistress. I was not the reason that anything transpired between them. Like that part of it is true. Like I was not involved in that at all, but nothing he's saying right now is true. And that bothers me to make me look like a whack ass bitch who wasn't there. I've never taken a sneak picture in my fucking life. Should I have posted that? No. Was it messy? Absolutely. I don't know why I woke up and just felt like doing that, but nothing he's saying is true and that's fucked up. You know how I like never responded to anything because I had a feeling it wouldn't make me feel better and I will tell you 1000% right now I do not feel any better. I feel disgusting and I feel taken out of character and it's not fun. You know, you should never have to talk to the internet about what's going on. I shouldn't have to have texts from our mutual friends telling me that I need to chill but why aren't you guys telling him to chill? I don't know. All this stuff is stupid. The internet doesn't matter. And I hope you guys just remember that. Like, none of it is the real world. The only person the internet is the real world is for Miss Jenner because that's how she fucking eats. So, I don't need to be doing all this and I should just delete everything. So, I'm gonna go out and I hope that you guys don't hate me tomorrow. You know how well now Kylie Jenner and Rojean seem to be beefing with each other through captions on Instagram because Rojean wrote on her caption, tell her to be me for Halloween since she wants you to love her so bad in which Kylie Jenner wrote on her caption, in your dreams. But people are also alleging that Rojean been throwing shade at Kylie Jenner because she had not a fit tea pusher in her bio for quite some time.